All right, gang, this is WWG whipping with Joe. Check this guy out. Don't forget my video cam. And look at what we got. <laughs> look at what we got. I like that, gang. We go this way. So we got all screwed up. I like that one, eh? Not bad. Anyway, this is the Quantum. Quantum. 35. 8 pound mono. Elite Tech. Elite Tech, Elite Tech, Elite Tech. Upside down, but that's okay. You guys figure it out. Elite Tech, seven foot, medium heavy. Uh, inshore. Yeah, comparable to the HMG Inshore. I think this one is a little more affordable. So anyway, again, I got Robert on my left side over there. Anyway, uh, forgot my video cam, but I thought I'd make this video. But anyway, this is a small game, fooling around. Uh, I got another raw with me with a popper, uh, because I'm still testing this one. This one here, on my 12th hour uh going basically for small game i've been popping but i lost a gt on there earlier but uh, uh anyway i thought you would share this guy here i to share it with this guy here and yeah, what my favorite fish why because of the battle love the battle with this guy especially on light tackle light tackle yeah one two small little guy about nine and a half ounces Six to one ratio, 36 inches per crank. I got 240 ounce weight pound mono. That's a lot. So um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you can you can go less than that and all that kind of stuff, but still, you know, it's a lot of line. It's only for small game. For most only in Hawaii, I mean, basically that's all you need. If you're not going for GTs, you know, small little reel like that, eight pound, ten pound, twelve pound mono, man, you'll be good to go. You'll have fun with a small little rod like you know, seven, six, six, even six foot rod. Again, WWJ whipping with Joe from the Isle of Kauai, Hawaii. Wow, wow. Mahalos for watching my videos. Woo, woo.